question 1D, we again have what I call the, the short method to do on this because it's just we just have x squared as the leading coefficient, right? So again we list the pairs of factors of this number here. So 50 is 1 times 50 or 2 times what? 25, right? Does 3 go in there? No, but how about 4 times something? No, right? So that doesn't work. So 5 times what? 5 times 10 and 6, 7 doesn't go in, 8, uh, 9 and 10 goes in, 10 times 5 or back to where we started. So we've got 150, 2 and 25, 5 and 10. These are the pairs of factors of 50. Now we one of these pairs is going to work because we're looking for two numbers that multiply to give negative 50 but add to give negative 23. So the two numbers have to multiply to give negative 50 and then they have to add to give negative 23. And you, you can put positives or negatives in front of your numbers to make it work, right? So what do you think is going to work here? Well, I don't know how you're going to do it with 1 and 50 or with 5 and 10. But if you look at 2 and 25, surely you can make 23 out of that somehow, right? I mean, 25 minus 2 is 23. But how about a negative 25 and a positive 2? Doesn't that give um, negative 23, right, if I add them? And how about negative 25 times positive 2? Does that give negative 50? Yep, so that works. And just be careful because a lot of students like to say, oh, sure, 25 and negative 2 is also going to work. But it's not. Why doesn't this work? These guys multiply to negative 50, but they do not add to negative 23. They add to positive 23. Okay, so these guys are no good. We want the negative 25 and the positive 2. So we want x minus 25 times x plus 2. By the way, you can also rearrange that as x plus 2. This also works, by the way. x plus 2 times x minus 25, that's fine. Just don't change the sign in front of the numbers. So either way is, is fine. And then, of course, so that's the answer. That's the answer here, but we can also check it. x times x, x squared, x times 2 plus 2x, negative 25 times x, negative 25x negative 25 times 2 minus 50 and then add these guys x squared minus 23x minus 50 and that's what we started with right